Hey, JP here. This is an update on our submarine, Bellavia, for April 22nd, 2024. If you're not familiar with this project, we are building a small submarine that carries one person as a development testbed. It's actually a tool for our Airship to Orbit program. Already software we've developed for the submarine is used in our airships. The submarine gives us a chance to test systems under harsh conditions and gives us real world experience in the big three. Life support, AI human interface, and most importantly, system integration. That's getting all of your stuff working with all of your other stuff. Integration is one of those things that everybody from Boeing to NASA to SpaceX has trouble with, mainly because it's really hard. We want to gain some experience with that here before we try to do it there. Now on to the status. The big push right now is getting to the first float test. On the sub, all the systems are complete and functioning. We're down to testing, tweaking, and tuning. Last weekend, we put the sub on the scale for weight and balance. The tricky part is picking up a ton and a half object with fragile things all over it and putting it down carefully on a scale. In addition to the weight of the submarine, there is a load of sandbags in the cockpit taking the place of the pilot. The emergency drop weights are normally held on with big electromagnets. However, the sub's power is off during the wing, so the gang strapped the weights on with a bunch of quick ties. We lifted the sub with two one-ton gantry cranes. We did it nice and slow, keeping it level as we went. For just a bit, we fulfilled the dream of the flying sub. Just maybe not quite as high as the one on TV. But sadly, what goes up must come down. We got Bell on the scale and we were pretty jazzed as we completely nailed the weight. 3,030 pounds. That's just where we want to be for first dive. Now that we had the total weight, it was time to work on the balancing. The center of balance needs to be right at the center of buoyancy. One of the challenges is that the center of buoyancy when the sub is on the surface of the water is different than the center of buoyancy when it is underwater. The upshot is that our submarine needs to be a little tail heavy on the surface so that the balance is dead center underwater. To measure the balance, we lifted the sub up again and then moved the scale to one end. I'll show you how that all works with our model here. One end of the sub's frame is blocked up on the scale while the other is blocked and sitting on the ground. We weigh the results and then switch it around and weigh the other end. It turns out the sub was a little more tail heavy than it should be. To fix that, we're gonna move 90 pounds of steel ballast out of the aft ballast tank and mount it in the forward ballast tank. That will be close enough for this first round of in the water testing. I need to talk to you, my awesome viewers. If you love what you're seeing and want to push this program even further, consider subscribing to our Patreon site. By joining us, you'll get exclusive access to content, early news, and flight mission announcements and more. Your support helps us create more content for you. So click the Patreon link in the description below and check it out. And let's take this journey together. Speaking of in the water testing, we need to get the sub to the water. For that, we needed a trailer. We bought this trailer used and it was just right for the sub. Heavy capacity, 10,000 pounds, yet made for a fairly short boat. We needed to get it all stripped down and then build it back up again to make it a proper ride for Bellavia. New tires, lots of fabrication later, and now the trailer is ready to get wet. 
we took the trailer to the local lake just to give it a dunk test. This is where we'd like to do the sub's first float test. The lake level on this day was about three feet shy of what we would need to launch the submarine, but it was fine for trailer testing. The lake expedition showed us a couple things we needed to tighten up and adjust. Besides that, the trailer is ready to go. Next in store for Bell is the big one, the first float test. After we get that done, that will be followed up with a crew in five hour life support test. And we'll do that with the sub here in the shop. Next, we'll be building a remote control harness for the sub. It will control dive, surface, emergency weight drop, and the emergency ballast blow. This will let us conduct the first dive without anyone aboard. That test will undoubtedly create just a big to-do list. I have found that creating submarines, airships, and spaceships is a patient business. Step-by-step, step, working your list is how it happens. After that list is done, then we get to do the test that I'm personally really excited about. The first dive test with me on board. Hey, if you're running your own space program, picking yourself as the first aquanaut or astronaut it is kind of the whole point. Well, that will be followed on with a series of envelope expanding dives and tests. In the middle of all this, we are flying a high altitude balloon series, building our next generation plasma rocket engine and prepping the Ellipse airship for first flight. Busy times at JP Aerospace. With all this going on and more, We'll be posting it all here, so subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with the latest. Thank you for watching. JP Aerospace, America's other space program.